this short video will explain how to get started with your research critique assignment for MWI 2203. The equipment that I've got here includes the paper that I wish to critique, a copy of my framework for critiquing, some coloured pens, pencils um, and a normal pen. The first step is to read your paper. Try to read it without thinking about the assignment and without thinking about the framework. The idea is that you understand the paper and perhaps if a friend asked you what it was about, you would feel confident in explaining that. Once you've read your paper, you may need to read it again. You don't expect for the first time you've read a paper to fully understand each aspect of it. You may need to read it two or three times, you may need to read it and then have a couple of days break and then come back to reading it. This is why it's important you start your assignment in time so you have time to do this. Once you're confident with your paper, the next step is to apply your framework. The framework I'm going to be using is Caldwell's framework. This is the one that we've covered in the module. Um, obviously you will be familiar with it. If you're not, you need to make sure you do know it inside out. And I'm going to turn to the page which has the framework as a flowchart. So to begin the critique, what I need to do is I need to pick out the information that's on the framework in the paper. And I'm going to do this by working through the framework from the start, so in a logical manner. And I'm going to ask myself the questions. So, for example, does the title reflect the content? So, I know from this question that the key information I need to pick out here is the title. I'm going to take one of my coloured pens or highlighters. And I'm going to highlight the title. And I'm going to think about this question. Does it reflect the content? Yes, it does. So I'm going to leave myself a note. Now I can move my way down the framework. I can say, are the authors credible? So I will often find information about the authors at the top of the paper. And I can see here it's under the title. I'm going to highlight that. And I'm going to label this so I know what it is and why I highlighted it. So I'm going to say authors. Um, I can see here that they have got PhDs and MDs, which means they're highly qualified people. So that's a good sign that they're probably reputable authors. However, I don't know anything about them. Um, so I'm going to leave myself a note to do some research on this. And I can tick this box when I've done that. So I can keep going down the framework. So the next question is, does the abstract summarize the key components? Now, I'm going to presume this is the abstract. They haven't perhaps given us a detailed abstract. Again, I'm going to highlight this and make some comments on it. For example, say that it's short. So I can keep working my way down the framework. Now the next questions, for example, is the rationale for undertaking the research clearly outlined? For this, I'm going to need to read the first part of the paper. And you'll know by now that this initial part of the paper can be called the background, it can be called the introduction, it can be called the literature review. But it's generally where you're going to find the first part of Caldwell's framework. So reading through, I can pick out some information. Which details the rationale for undertaking the research. And again, I'm going to label this so I know what to think about when I come back to it. I'm going to continue my way through the framework. So is my literature review comprehensive and up to date? Again, I'm going to keep reading the background. This study doesn't have a very comprehensive literature review. So I might need to write that. I can either write it on my framework or I can write it here. So at the bottom, perhaps I could put a star and say literature review, not thorough. And then continue as we do to work our way through the framework. For example, is the aim of the research clearly stated? 
Now, this has got an aim that you can just about pull out. However, it's not entirely clear what the aim is, so that would be something to include in my critique. And again, I'm going to label this. I'm going to put query not clear. So you're going to repeat this process throughout the whole of the paper. Make sure you follow the right arm of the framework. So you'll need to be able to tell if your paper is quantitative research or if it's qualitative research. This paper is quantitative, so I'll go down the quantitative arm. And I can continue working through with my highlighters through each part. I might wish to change colours. For example, I may use one colour on the highlighter for the initial part of the framework, a different colour for the methods, a different colour for the results. And that way I'll be able to tell which part I'm talking about when I go back to look at my notes. Going through the paper with the framework alongside it is a crucial first step to this essay. Without it, you won't be able to pick out that information and therefore you will not be able to critique the essay. However, just picking out the information isn't enough. That is too descriptive. I don't need you to tell me what's in the paper. I need you to tell me why it's important. That was a brief tour of how to initially critique an article. Critiquing is a skill. You may find it useful to practice it with different articles. The more you do it, the easier it gets. And I highly encourage you to use this method for the formative quiz that is available on my learning.